Hello and welcome. My name is Kyra and y'all already know the drill. You already know it. I went to Goodwill. I did. I really did. I went to Goodwill and uh, this time I found a blanket. I found a blanket. Let me, let me show you. Hang on. Let me adjust you. I'm going to show you. You're not even ready. Look at this. It is so, if I can undo it, it's so, like the birds, the Christmas tree, very, very winter, winter coated. There's more. There's more. The cat? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? So, you know what we're going to do with this? I'm going to fall in my desk chair and roll away. Okay, I'm here with you. You know what we're going to do with this? We're going to make a little sweater, a little pullover sweater thing. That's the plan. How I'm going to do that, I don't really know. Am I going to cut this and it's all going to fall into a thousand pieces? I hope not. I hope not. But but we're going to do it. Let's go. Let's get into it. Okay, so here is the plan. I've never made a sweater sewing before. But you know what I have made? Crochet sweaters. So in theory, if I just use the measurements from a crochet sweater that I know fits me well, and I make the panels that big, and then just, you know, the, it's oversized already, so without all account for seam allowance, I can add some in, I don't know. If I do that, then in theory, it should fit. So I think that's the goal. Honestly, I'm not too, like, I really want the cat in it. The cat is going to be in it, and I think the birds would be cool, maybe like on the sleeves. I'm not too pressed about the Christmas tree if the Christmas tree doesn't make it in. Um, if it does, great. If it doesn't, it's fine. It's fine. And you know what? If I get to cutting and I realize like there's no way this is going to be enough fabric, I could always make a vest too. So that's going to be easy. It's going to be easy. Right? I don't have a serger, so I'm a little bit concerned about fraying, but if I just hem all the edges, I should be fine. Um, I, I just want to get a serger, but I get that. Maybe I'll find one on eBay one day or something, but the ones that I've seen are like $300. Um, fun fact about me, I'm not going to spend $300 on uh, practically anything, let alone a serger when I could just do it myself. So that's the plan. Use sweater pattern measurements cut out hem the edges. Hopefully it'll turn out fine. I do have a heavy duty sewing machine, so I think I think she'll be good. I think she'll be able to figure it out. But let's let's start cutting their shadow in the back. He's the main character, I guess. Anyway, let's get into it. Hello. So I've gone through and Using my massive brain and Google, I figured out, so basically, I don't have a serger, right? We said that. I was really worried about the stuff falling apart. It's been a few days because I had to hand wash these and then they had to dry because I don't have a washer and dryer. So it's been, it's been a process. It's been a process. But they're all dry now. They're all washed. And they're all surged up. Basically, what I did for that is I did a zigzag stitch and then just did a straight stitch like in between the zigzags and I'm really hoping that holds. It held up through me hand washing so worst comes to worst I think I might just hand wash this whenever I wear it because and it's like a sweater so like this might be kind of gross but I'm gonna be honest I do not wash my sweaters every single time I wear them like it, like if you're not sweating in it and you're just like I'm also, I change into my PJs all the time, as soon as I can, so if I'm just going to be wearing it for like five hours and it's cold and I'm not sweating and I'm just like, I'm not going to wash it. Anyway, enough defending myself. Um, I'll just hand wash it because I am a little worried because I just, I really want this to stay because it's super cute. But yeah, so instead of surging, I did zigzag stitch with a straight, like this is your zigzag, swoop, 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 and then a straight stitch just like that. 
but it turned out super cute. Like, I just want to talk about the freaking pattern. So this is going to be one of the sleeves. Like, I'm just so excited about this because it's a blanket. Like, could it, could it be any cuter? Then we got another sleeve. This one has the little Christmas tree on it. I figured I could put the, like, have the sleeve like this. Then it's not super in your face Christmas tree. So I can wear it. Like, it's a sweater. So I'm going to be wearing it around winter anyway. So it kind of works. But like, you don't always want a Christmas tree, but that's fine. And then back panel, we just have these little birds outside. Super cute, super cute. And then this is the one I'm most excited for. Look at this little cat. He's just seeping. He's a little cat and he's seeping. I'm so excited. But yeah, so I'm basically going to construct this the exact same way I construct um, crochet sweaters. That's the plan. I, If you watched my last video, I made a little crochet sweater. I'm just going to put this together the exact same way. It should work, right? It should work. I don't see why it wouldn't work. But yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get sewing. Hello. So I wanted to kind of show you guys what I'm talking about with construction wise because I have my shoulders seamed up and then the arms pinned on so this like you're gonna hold it up and it's gonna look like a sweater that's the plan because see we got the sleeve and then the body we got our little shoulder seams all done up so if you have it splayed open it's like that you got your little head hole and then you just got your little seam. So I'm going to sew the shoulder seams. And then once you do that part, you literally just sew up the body there. And then sew up this way. And then across the sleeve. That's it. That's it. Sew it inside out. Tip. So I'm going to sew up the sleeves. And then I think we're going to need a collar just to make that edge look finished. And then from there... I think I'm gonna add like either fold over, yeah, probably just fold over the sleeve part and then the bottom. We'll see how that looks. Maybe I'll add a cuff. I highly doubt it though. I don't know if you've picked up on this. I hate adding cuffs, but we're almost done. We're almost done with this freaking sweater. And I'm so excited because it is so freaking cold outside. And just to be able to wear this, I will. So happy, so happy, but yes, sewing, sewing, sewing. <laughs> Okay, I've we got the basics down. Look at the cat. Look at the cat. That's all I have to say. Look at the cat. Anyway, so what we need to do from here. The sleeves are way too long. My hand is here. So I'm going to need to take some length off of that. Because, like, it's cute, but not functional. I'll need to fix the bottom, because we are... Got our little phrase. And then same thing with the collar. I don't think I'm going to add a collar. I think I'm just going to fold it and then sew like that. And then same. I'm obsessed with this cat. Oh my gosh. I am. Maybe this is a little bit too much of a reveal so we can keep it a secret. But I am so obsessed with this. So sleeves and then fix the hems. And we're done. And then we're done. It's so cozy. It's It's literally a blanket. It's literally a blanket. Like, what more could you want? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna fix this. And then I'll, I'll show you fully when it's all done. All done. <laughs> I did it. I made the sweater. I 
love this so much. I feel like it may be a little bit of a bold statement, but I think this is my favorite thing I've ever made. It is so, so comfy. I can't even explain to you guys. It is, it's a blanket. So it's literally just like wearing a blanket on me all the time. And I'm so proud of myself for figuring out how to do the stitches, doing the little fold over hem, like right there. I feel like every single thing that I make, my skill just gets better and better. And I'm so excited about that because I, I love this. I love this. There's, there's really nothing I would change about it. Like this freaking cat. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's all I have to say. Like I was so worried when I started this that it would just completely unravel and fall apart. I learned how to do like basically a serger stitch without a serger. So that's skill that I have forever now. Um, I ended up using so much thread though. So if you are going to do this, definitely make sure you have extra thread because I went through a whole spool and a half. So lots of thread, but I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. I feel like too, I was worried that it would come off like a little bit too Christmassy because it has the Christmas tree, but honestly, I feel like it's not that obvious. And I can wear it any other time as well. Maybe not like in the summer, obviously, but you know, the main focus is the cat. Your eyes are going to be drawn to the cat. And you're going to be like, oh my God, what a cute cat sweater instead of look at that Christmas sweater. Anyway, that's my revelations about this. I am so happy, so excited, so comfy, so cozy. And that's it. So thank you for coming along with me. If you end up making one like this or you're inspired, definitely let me know. I'd love to see it. And that is all for this week. Bye guys.